What's going on everybody? My name is Kyle Welcher. Thank you for clicking on this video right here. It is dark. We are cruising down the street in my 6 foe and got the boat headed to Lay Lake. Gonna do a little team tournament today on Lay Lake. I will catch y'all up on exactly what's going down after we get there. Only gonna be a few boats in it. Uh, you know, I'll just let y'all see what unfolds. We on the way there now. Be over at Lay Lake in about an hour. Looking to get on the shaft spawn, run that for as long as we can. So, fingers crossed, let's go catch four and five pounders. All right, told y'all we was on the way to Lay Lake, fish a little team tournament. Didn't tell y'all any other details than that. What that, up, what up? That's my teammate, Jacob Wheeler. <laughs> He's not quite as cute as Hunter, but I think he catches them a little bit better. So, we're gonna be all right as a team. We're fishing against Connell and Fletcher Shryock, and then Russ Lane and Clint Davis. So we got to catch a two pound minimum, as many fish as we can catch. And the, the cool thing about May, especially in the Southeast is you can literally catch fish still on bed or you can catch fish out on main river ledges. It's the most unique time of the year. It's always kind of a question about how you're going to catch them. But I know I have a unhealthy obsession with braided line and topwater strikes. And I think this oh, dude does too. You know I'm in. So that's how we're going to fish today. So Absolutely. stay tuned, hopefully we'll catch us some. Gonna be the most turn most structured tournament that I have ever fished in my entire life. We're not gonna do lines in until 5 40 a.m. Y'all already know what my first cast is gonna be with right there. So I'm just going we're gonna be sitting here for a couple minutes and then hopefully first cast we're gonna bust us like a three and a half pounder and then just proceed to wreck them for about an hour and have this thing buttoned up with a bow on it real quick like. That's what I like with that freaking white mouth. Yeah. I know you like that second. Uh-uh. You about to get messed up. 539, 539. Come on, 540. It's about to go off. Alarm. Alarm. Now. Am I feeling? Yep. How can one minute take so long? It's been 539 for like ever. Knock me out. This is only watch out. Hey, get him over here, son. Spotted bass, dude. Spotted bass on the frog. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Second cast. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Hey, drop them poles. I got it. Here, you keep going. I, I got, I got this. It's okay. Yeah! Keep it going, bro. I'm not even going to be able to put them in. Alright, that's not too bad. Are you sure? You think it's like too bad? Alright, hold on. This is, this is 210. We got a 210. Let me put him back. <laughs> we got another one. That's going to be like a 115. Alright, so we got what, 210? This is unreal. Kyle's over here just wrecking. I'm just, I'm just gonna literally be the waymaster over here. See, that's the two stuff. pounds even. Two one. That's the stuff I like. Two ten and two one. That's what I'm talking about. Literally. Okay.
Dude, that was a freaking <laughs> man. We, we, we can we can not. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I'm like, huh? I'm about to then swap this for you. <laughs> Where's your frog box at? Yeah, right here. I got some brand new ones right here. I'm good. I'm good. I want this one. I'm gonna go this one. Walking frog junior. How much a breath for that can right there, boy? Oh no, that's a good one. Oh, dude. I know it's like you can't even. These suckers are blowing up all over it. Already on. Could be. Oh. This, uh, it, I dropped the. Here I got it. I got it. I dropped the bed. The whole thing. Exactly. It wasn't. It wasn't a two pounder. There's one something that broke. Through. You're fine. Sorry. The second bite. You got it. I, I had to set the hook on. <laughs> Cut him a little bit. on the gopro don't usually talk to the gopro so we ended up catching i think four fish out of the first spot two of them were not two pounds i think they were like pound and three quarters right now we got 411 another boat has 410 and another boat is yet to catch a fish but you know it with only being four pounds ahead it could definitely somebody could catch them really really fast and catch up quick but i think we wasted about 10 or 12 minutes in the first spot if we could have uh got out of there a little bit faster probably been optimal but that's how it goes sometimes that stuff adds up though guys 10 or 12 minutes adds up over the course especially a three hour dang tournament so anyways we're in a new spot now hope we're gonna catch us a couple right here you got time for you get out of here clinton and were fishing uh isolated patches of water willow right on the river whenever we passed them is that clinton them i thought it was oh it was dc oh yeah i'm wrong out there in the middle, full circle. That's the kind of stuff I usually fish. I like to find real narrow points that have smaller grass beds with holes in in the little narrow points. Mm -hmm. I don't like getting on them little miles of freaking grass lines. I know it's like.
Yeah, just go ahead and move your phone. You're good anyway. It's uh. Little bitty, itty bitty. Oh, did we take it under the freaking mat? How did we get hooked in? I got you, just now. <laughs> I was saying, I know Kyle. Kyle's casting. He, he's a dang fish catcher, son of a gun. But dang, son, you casted that sucker pretty. And it, that one did not play around. There you go. Dude, the I didn't let you have hold it. I said, hey, you gotta keep going back to work. Can you see that back there? That is Daytona Beach. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Basically, got a fish from my buddy Jacob Wheeler. And uh, if you have not seen his video on this, they would actually put up like a three and a half hour live stream, straight unedited video, three hours on his channel, the Pro Bass Shootout. And I mean, you gotta give a shout out to him, Brody, his cameraman, for putting that together. That is unbelievable the way they can put all that together. Cause you know, whenever you talk to them, they're just regular old dudes. And then they put something that nice together. So it's pretty awesome. Gotta give a thank you to Jacob for inviting me, letting me fish that thing, and I won't revenge. We ended up losing by about four ounces. Clint Davis and Russ Lane beat us. I think they caught a three-pounder punching at the end, 
and moved ahead of us by four ounces. So we lost. We came in second out of three boats, so not too good. And uh, I'd like to go back and have another try at it. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate it. You know, we lost a lot of fish or missed a lot of fish early throwing a frog up in that shad spawn. And I was not anticipating it being that tough of a bite or else I would have had some other baits rigged up to make sure I got them to commit to it. But May, Lay Lake, there's big fish, Florida strain, shad spawn going on. I thought they would have been eating a big top water. It just didn't happen and I, I, I was not prepared. So I caught just enough fish to make me keep throwing the frog. And obviously we had a lot of bites, just didn't get in the boat. But anyways, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get my head clear down here on the beach before we go to Lake Ufala, but hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything for the rest of the year. See y'all in the next video.